A Buddhist is likely to raise a Buddhist. A Muslim is likely to raise a Muslim. Knowledge passes from family to family. Loving fathers pass knowledge to their children and their children's children. Christendom is quick to condemn others because that's what they've been taught. What about those who have not even heard about Christ? That's a lot of people. A lot of people. They will defend their twisted beliefs with things like, if they haven't heard the gospel, they will be spared out of fairness. According to Christendom, it would be better off if nobody has heard of Christ or the good news. This proves that the gospel of Christendom is nothing but a curse. The savior of the world is the savior of the world. He saved us all from an endless slumber. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Not out of fear, but from the Holy Spirit once it has been given. We cannot confess unless we have the Spirit. Those of us with true God-given faith are not slaves to uncertainty. When we do doubt things, we are reminded that the doubt is only part of the will of God. Confidence replaces hope. We aren't ruled by the powers of this deceptive world. Circumstances are nothing but tools. They are not our masters. There is a time and place for everything. It all has a purpose. We reap what we sow, it's true. But should we expect only good things from the hand of God and never anything bad? The natural man cannot discern the things of the Spirit. That's why we cannot confess Jesus as Lord except by the Spirit. The Word of God is living and will never die. The Scriptures, on the other hand, have been messed with so much that people have become blind to the truth. The letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. Only God can open our eyes. That's why Jesus said you must be born again and deny yourself. We must let go of that free will doctrine. They tell us we would be robots if not for their twisted belief when in fact God tells us through Paul that we are the clay and God is the potter. We must let go of our carnal pride and become childlike. We should ask questions and grow in wisdom and get rid of the traditional spoon-fed lies. But it takes a desire from our Father God before we can acquire His wisdom and understanding. It's God who works in us to do of His pleasure. It is no longer us who live, but God living through us. We realize this if we are honest with ourselves. God is good all of the time. He never changes and knows all things. He uses bad for good and tells us not to repay evil for evil. He desires all to be saved and come to the full knowledge of the truth, and everything he desires will come to be. If one should be blind, let him be blind. If one should see, let him finally see. Until God is finally all in all, we will be dealing with those who cannot see. Perfect love casts out all fear. It's time to trust in God, my friends. Please open their eyes, Father. Show them your true light. Open their eyes tonight.